Hi, suppose that I want to calculate the perimeter of an ellipse. How should I do that? So let's consider the ellipse. This is B, this is A. The equation of an ellipse is uh, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. So it is useful to introduce uh, a parameter phi such that x equals a cosine phi and y is b sine phi. So x and y describe the curve of an ellipse. Uh, it is now parameterized by phi, where phi is between 0 and 2 pi. So um, now I describe the, describe the ellipse by a parameter, an angle phi from 0 to 2 pi. The perimeter is now easy to calculate. It is the integral of squared dx squared plus dy squared. I'm using a Pythagoras theorem. And this is nothing but the integral from 0 to 2 pi d phi of squared dx d phi squared plus dy d phi squared, namely the integral between 0 and 2 pi of d phi squared of what do we have here? a squared sine squared phi plus b squared cosine squared phi. So this is a nice formal formula for the perimeter. I can also write the same formula as follows. It is for a, the integral between 0 to pi over 2 of the phi square root of 1 minus epsilon squared cosine squared phi and epsilon squared is 1 minus b squared over a squared and using this parameter epsilon which is also called the eccentricity uh, the formula for the perimeter is really simple we can also simplify it or bring it to a different form by introducing phi tilde equals pi over 2 minus phi and then the perimeter takes the following nice form the perimeter is 4a the integral between 0 and pi over 2 the phi tilde square root of 1 minus epsilon squared sine square phi tilde. So either by using this nice formula, which is symmetric with respect to uh, swapping A and B, or the other formula, we can calculate formally the perimeter of, uh, of an ellipse. Uh, when a equals b, we see from this equation that we simply get 2 pi, so it is uh, 2 pi uh, times a, of course, which is like 2 pi r in the case of, um, of a circle. Uh, 
We get the same here, the second equation, when epsilon is uh, zero, we get 4a times pi over two, so it's two pi a, it's the same. So both formulas, of course, uh, give um, the circle in the case when epsilon is zero or when a equals b. But so formally we solve the problem. Now what I would like to do, I'd like to calculate this integral. So either this integral or this integral, it's possible to calculate these integrals, but it requires a bit of an algebra. And this is what I'd like to do now. So how I choose to calculate this integral, how to calculate such an integral. So what I will use, I will use the Taylor expansion of square root of one minus X. And I'll tell you the answer for, for that. Expanding this in a Taylor expan expansion, what I get is one minus sum from N equals one to infinity. Um, x to the n over n factorial and what we have is 2n minus 3 double factorial over 2 to the n. This notation means that we skip um, some terms so uh, it means uh, only odd terms 2n minus 3 times 2n minus 5 times 2n minus 7 etc. So we skip the even terms. Um, so this is the expansion of uh, one minus X. Another thing that I will need for the calculation, once I expand the above integral, what I will get is some, um, the, 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 the above expression, what I will get is an integral over uh, even powers of sine. So what I need to calculate, I, would, I need to know how to calculate this integral. And that can be done by integration by parts. Uh, we get some relation between i and some recursive relation that we can solve and the relation is i n equals 2 n minus 1 over 2 n i n and together with i 0 equals pi over 2 we can uh, find a nice expression for uh, i n the result for i n is as follows. i n is 2 n minus 1 double factorial 2 n double factorial pi over so now I have all the ingredients and I can write the expression for the perimeter. The perimeter of an ellipse is 2 pi a 1 minus sum from n equals 1 to infinity and now I should put all the terms together and let's see what we get. We get 2n minus 1 double factorial 2n minus 3 double factorial 2n double factorial 2 to the power of n, epsilon to the 2n over n factorial. That's the uh, perimeter of an ellipse. We can simplify a bit um, 
this expression by using some identities um, uh, of double uh, factorials, the final result for the um, for the uh, perimeter of the ellipse, a nice way of writing it is as follows. formula for the perimeter. 